Hello, this is Beverly from scrapandthread.blogspot.com. Today I wanted to show you how to stamp on battery operated candles. That's actually a misnomer. You're not actually stamping on the candle, but it's a technique to get a stamped image on the candle. I practiced on this little votive here first to see whether or not it would work, and I think it turned out really cute. So I'm going to show you how to do it on the, the same technique on the larger candle. The stamping technique for a votive is the same as it would be on a large candle. And uh, you'll need a, the, a candle, whatever one you want to use, uh, a stamp set. I'm using my peeps from close to my heart. And the images that I'm going to be using are that little bunny that you saw on the votive, the springtime sentiment that's uh, sort of out of the picture, sorry there, and also the eggs along the bottom. So once you've selected the images that you want to put on your candles, you'll need some white tissue paper. Just any white tissue paper will work. You'll also need some waxed paper, and, uh, and it needs to be where it's still pretty waxy. Uh, then you'll also want to um, take into consideration uh, safety, so make sure you take the batteries out of your candle because you will be heating up the outside of it and it's probably just better to be safe rather than have, maybe have a problem with the batteries later. I'm using Close to My Heart's black ink. Uh, you can use really any color. Um, some colors will probably show up better on your candle depending on what color candle you have. With Close to My Heart stamps, it comes with a foam pad and because the tissue paper is very thin, the ink will go down uh, through it. So I am taking a piece of tissue paper and kind of blotting off the ink from my previous stamped images. You don't want to have any bleed through uh, onto your new stamped image, so it's important to get that off of the, the foam if you are using that kind of a um, stamp. And then you just ink up your stamp, stamp it right onto the tissue paper, and uh, then you can color your image if you want. Uh, you need to cut around the outside of the image to get it pretty close to the image so you don't have a lot of paper on there that you don't need. So that one's already all done. And then line it up, place it on your candle where you want it. This candle happened to come from Costco and uh, it does have a pretty waxy substance on the outside. I don't know that it is wax, um, so I, I'm you know, that's my disclaimer there, but it, it does work because of the waxed paper having wax on it and then whatever that the coating is on the other candle. So once you have your image all lined up and ready to go and you like where it's at, you want to hold the tissue paper, or excuse me, the uh, wax paper fairly taut so that it's pressed up against the candle very um, smoothly and then you're going to use a heat gun to heat it up. Because the heat gun is really loud, I muted the whole video and I'm doing this as a voiceover in case you were wondering why there was no background sounds uh, involved with this. So you'll heat up your, your candle uh, and the wax paper and as it gets heated, you can see that the wax is causing the image to darken and once that's all dark, uh, then you'll know that it that it should be done um, and you'll want to be careful when you remove the wax paper to make sure that the image is embedded into the candle so that it looks like it was one candle rather than something uh, being stuck to it so that's part of the beauty and the fun of that that uh, technique and when you rub on the wax paper you'll get wax on your fingers there that's just kind of normal you'll see that lighter section of wax paper uh, that's you don't want to reuse that section and then um, if you don't like how that turned out you can take a fresh section of wax paper and do it over again I'm going to stick on the egg border now that I've already stamped out uh, stamped and cut out and colored I colored those with uh, colored pencils and uh, I really like that for this technique. Um, it, it doesn't bleed through the tissue like markers do um, and uh, it's always been kind of my, my go-to thing. I found a new section of the wax paper, that other lighter section is where I had used the other image. And then you do the same thing where you wrap the wax paper around the candle, get a nice tight wrap around and then heat it up just like the other image 
and um, make sure that you've got it covered pretty well with the heat. Uh, and as I said, if you need to redo it, you certainly can. Just find a new section of wax paper and, um, and then double check as you're pulling it off. Now with this particular image, I, I wasn't sure how it was going to work, as I said, with the colored pencils on there. And, I, uh, and you can also rip the tissue paper pretty easily if you have very sharp colored pencils. So it, there is some fragility there that you need to kind of be aware of as you're using uh, the, these supplies. But um, the, the technique is all the same and I just kind of rubbed it on there again and then check it to make sure. Now in this case it hadn't gotten completely adhered so I rewrapped it and melted it again in the same location of wax paper. I didn't change my wax paper and then I checked it again to see and um, and then you can see that it, it worked better that time. But what will happen is it just sort of starts to peel up your image again and, and that's not what you want obviously. You want it to be embedded into the candle so that it looks like it was made that way. Now I chose to put um, additional images on there later and uh, so I I did go ahead and, and stamp up some more things and the, the picture in the beginning of the video shows that with the uh, other springtime on there with the eggs. And then I also had stamped the little peeps with some pink cotton candy ink which looked really cute. And there's the candle all back together and turned on. Um, there's the back side and the front side and it's a fun technique. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get a chance to use this. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment or visit my blog. It's at scrapandthread.blogspot.com. Thanks so much. Take care.